I'm Shannon. I'm Jess. I'm Sarah. And we're three female film photographers on a girls' creative weekend. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm Shannon Linder and I'm super excited to be making some film photography content with Gelatin Labs. Before we get into the good stuff, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've been shooting film since I was 17 for about 10 years um, and it's truly the greatest passion of my life. I think that film is a medium that captures the soul of people, captures light, captures the world in just a timeless way that no other medium I've tried has ever really been able to accomplish. So last weekend, my friend Sarah Wicker and Jess Lynette and I rented a house in West New Jersey, the countryside of New Jersey, believe it or not, because it's February and it's cold. And when we were 18 and 19, we would run around outside modeling for other photographers, freezing our butts off, and we don't wanna do that anymore. So I decided we should rent a beautiful, very well-loved old house in Jersey and just go shoot together. We had a lovely weekend connecting, getting to know each other better, teaching each other how to load medium format film, remembering how my Polaroid works. How do you make it not flash? Oh, yeah. <gasps> we figured it out and got the shot and then moved on to some group shots where I used my reflector and pulled out a lot of additional lighting, but these are three of the photos from the weekend that I'm the most proud of. I'm in love with these group shots. I think our poses are really nice, and I especially love this portrait of Jess where it looks like she's glowing. So after Girls Weekend, I still really had the bug to shoot, and I had an unfinished roll of film. So I had to finish that and we went upstate and it was perfect blue hour when we arrived. So I got out my handy dandy Home Depot construction lamp, which I'll show you in a second. Ready? This is my $10 Home Depot construction lamp with a color changing bulb from Amazon. I got it on Amazon, it was not expensive. And there's an app I have on my phone that I can change the light to any color on the spectrum. Here I have my construction lamp in action because I don't like overhead lighting and I was doing one of my famous scary clown looks. Here's a little BTS of me doing my makeup to get ready. I just use a non-toxic black paint and a paintbrush to get myself together and then my partner was helping me pose, making sure I didn't look crazy in a bad way and I got one really great shot I like and I think my film was haunted because of this strange red apparition. The next day I went out to a park full of historic, abandoned, preserved mansions to try some movement portraits and try some double exposures. And then I even tried a triple exposure, which was super tricky because I'm learning that to take a really good multiple exposure shot, you have to be behind something dark. And it didn't come out too bad. It's a little hard to see the third me in the middle, but I was overall pretty happy golden hour really started hitting in full force so I jumped up on the porch took my time to pose with this one and the shot came out pretty much exactly how it looked through my frame which is rare um, and then as the light was just starting to get the most gorgeous orange I was racing against time to get these last two shots that I'm really really happy with and to top it off one more double exposure for good measure thanks for watching and happy shooting